Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charms Design, Captain of the Steves, and behind me right now is the trailer for Alien Romulus. Now, I actually purchased a catered Alien Romulus to watch and to review for you guys inside the viewers. Is it any good? I'm going to give you the bottom line up front. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I watched this with Ivy. She thoroughly enjoyed this. Also, it's fantastic. Now, there's Alien and Aliens. They're my two favourite Alien movies. And then I really liked Prometheus as well mainly because of the ancient aliens idea but anyway aliens one and two if you got aliens one and two and smushed them together and blended them together you'd end up with alien romulus the basic premise is these people are stuck on this mining sort of area they're all really likable people there's there's one git bag amongst the crew but he's got a reason for his gittery but anyway they find that there's an abandoned Wayland space station hovering in their atmosphere and what they want to do is go in there and take out the sort of cryogenic status devices the, the actual pods so they can put them on their own ship power them and escape this mining planet that keeps adding time to their time doing mining to get them to some nicer existence of life so the premise is they want to better themselves by a little bit of skullduggery, which is all great in a roundabout way. In a world full of skullduggery, I suppose it can only but happen. Now this came out cinemas August 16th. It's just come out on the uh, the Google store and YouTube store to purchase, Kate. I paid £19.99 pence for this, which is a lot less than going to the cinema. I can't remember the last movie that actually pulled me out of my home to go to cinema to invest in that. You're looking at £20 a person then. You're looking at 40 odd quid before you've even got your popcorn and sat down. So I quite like the home theatre experience and I watch most movies that way these days. And I usually buy digital copies of them because you don't have the DVD boxes. They don't take up clutter. Anyway, back to the movie. Freaking awesome. It's worth every freaking penny of that 1999. We were thoroughly entertained and gripped end to end of this movie. I wouldn't say it's as good as Aliens with the whole Marines going in and taking them all out. And I wouldn't say it's as good as the original first Alien at building up tension and the atmosphere. But it's got elements of both of those. It's got very likeable characters in this. You've got characters that have got flaws that you've got empathy for. It just works on so many levels. It doesn't feel like they've gone through a whole list of tick lists. Oh, we've got to have this, we've got to have that. There's none of that. It's just straight forward, no nonsense movie. At its, at its core, it's freaking great. I love it. If I had to rate this, I mean, obviously it's not as good as the first Alien or Aliens movies, but if this was just a standalone movie on its own in modern day, comparing it against everything else that's out there to watch right now, this is definitely, definitely worth a watch. Yeah, I would be given this, if this, if this was a standalone movie, never seen any other Alien movies before, if I was new to the Alien genre, you know, I was born in the millennium and I'm just about hitting 20s and I've never heard of Alien, if I watch this, I'll be like, oh, my days, I'm giving this a freaking 10 out of 10. But because I'm, you know, a boomer, <laughs> who makes up these terms? Why am I a boomer? I don't like the word boomer. It feels like it's some sort of insult before we even got started. Gen Z is awesome. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent, Steve. Pull yourself back in. Yeah, back into the actual. Uh, great. Love the visual effects. I mean, this sort of stuff, like the, the little x-ray machine that are oh, freaking great. And all the effects are awesome. You know, it's been it's had a massive uplift from the original Alien and Aliens. Some of the uh, because it's a modern movie. I still like the fact that they've got all the sort of like light up buttons and they've got the cathode ray tube TV sets and stuff. Awesome. Now, this is not a family friendly film, by the way. I should have said that at the start, really, shouldn't I? I mean, we've got blood and gore and all sorts going on in the background right now. But yeah, th I'd say it's probably a, a 15, 18. I haven't looked at the certificate rating on this. It probably is an 18, actually, thinking about it. But yeah, freaking awesome. Really liked it. And I would give this, because I grew up in the generation I grew up and I've seen Aliens 1 and Aliens 2. It's not as good as those two, but I think this is better than a lot of the Alien movies and Alien vs. Predator, better than all of those sort of movies. Better than Alien 3. That's probably a bit controversial. There's a few people saying, really, right now? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, 
And it's, it's definitely better than some of the other Alien movies that we've had that got a little bit silly. There are some little bits in this that get a little bit silly, just as a heads up. But at the same time, it's great. I like all the relationships between the characters. I like the atmosphere setting. I liked this a lot. I'd score this because I've seen the others, like I say. Probably an 8.8 .8 .8 out of 10, which is still freaking high. Go watch it if you can. It's awesome. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs> yeah! Go <laughs> cool, here! Yeah.